are you doing today? Welcome to the Bilsif Show, eh? It's been about a week and a half since you've seen the old Bilsif Show yet. It has. Hey, I've been camping with a family I have. Had a little family out, ain't no cameras. Just chilled her out and relaxed, boys and girls. But today, on the Bilsif Show, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button, why wouldn't you? I'm going to show you my top five things to look for when buying a new camper trailer for your family. Okay, so here we go. First thing you want to look for is you want to make sure you have in-roof ducting for the AC. Especially if you have a front bedroom with two doors. It only cools out here if you shut the doors you get hotter and dicks in there. So that's one thing to look for. Very important as far as I'm concerned. Make sure it's got in friggin ceiling ducting why wouldn't you next thing to do make sure you got floor ducting floor ducting comes on a lot of four season trailers so if you don't want to spend the big box sometimes you don't get that but all the new cruise lights by forest river seem to have in floor ducting now because my ducting for the furnace is on the ends of the table here and on and one in the bathroom so same thing if you're in that bedroom you gotta leave one door open so you can get some airflow in there frig make sure if you want an oven, you make sure you have an oven because a lot of trailers don't come with an oven unless you specify you want an oven. I might be up to more than friggin' five, I'm telling you right now. When you get your bathroom, make sure you have a skylight above your shower if you're a tall dude like I am because once you're in here, this thing doesn't cock you too good. It doesn't give you the flow and you have to stand like this and then back up and then go like this. It's got enough room, but it's dark. I had to add a light. So if you shut this and there was no light in here, we'd be dickered. Friggin' right you would be. It'd suck ass. Big time. Next thing. I'm gonna have to go back and count these because I think it's turned into my top 10 list. Friggin' right it is. When you buy a bathroom, when you have a bathroom with a shitter and a sink, hey? Eh? Make sure the sink is on not on a kitty corner shape. It's on a 45. Because I'll tell you why. When they put the cabinet in, can't even get over the sink, boys. My head hits it. So when I brush my teeth, it gets all over here. And it just, I don't like this, boys. This on the new trailers is in this wall and the sink is turned this way. So it makes it a lot easier. You can reach over your sink and you can brush your freaking teeth. Okay, so there's my next one. Next thing, make sure you have a window in the top bottom bunk. If you're looking at a double bunker, it'd be nice to have a window in the bottom bunk because if they need to get out, there's no emergency hatch there. They have to come out this way and go up there and go out. So if you have two kids, I only have one, so it doesn't matter. They can sleep on the top bunk for emergency out. But if you have two kids, make sure you have a bottom window. That way, if you need to get out, you can. So moving back to here, moving back to here, most of the stuff I'm pointing out is interior. It's just some things you don't look for when you're buying a trailer. So you gotta make sure you really look. This is really hard to avoid. Side cabinets beside the bed. Sucks, okay? Especially if you're sleeping with wifey poo and you're laying in here like this and she's laying here and you go to, you know, you're sleeping and stuff like that and you go to turn at night. Oh yeah, that felt good, yeah, yeah. So my arm's either down here and half asleep at night. It's either here half asleep or I gotta sleep in the middle of the bed and kick her out. I like that idea better. Just get out, would you? Why wouldn't you? But yeah, if you're looking for a queen size bedroom, see if you can get the cabinets that are maybe about up to here, and then just a nightstand there. That way you don't bang your freaking elbows. But like I said, I've been looking at a lot of floor plans on these trailers, and a lot of them, that's the way they are. So maybe get the one where the bed's sideways in here with a slide out. Hey, okay? that's about all I can tell you. Those are the certain things that really piss me off with this trailer, boys. Another thing, if you're planning on sleeping an adult, make sure you got a three cushion couch. That's a two cushion couch. Me don't fit in two cushion couch, eh? I'm a little too big for the two cushion couch. So maybe opt out of the booth because the booth doesn't really give you that much more room. It really don't. You can fit three comfortably. You can fit five max. So actually you're better off just to get a normal two chair doodad thingamabobber and forget the booth. Forget the booth, boys. And that way you'd have a three cushion couch, which is a little longer for sleeping in. Decent. Make sure you reinforce the cabinets. Make sure you check them all because this shelf fell out the other day and I had to fix it. So just make sure you uh, go over your newly snapped together cardboard trailer, boys, just to make sure everything's good because they are made out of cardboard nowadays. Make sure you have USB ports. Most of them come with USB ports nowadays, so make sure you have them. 
Look for your USB ports because everything we got nowadays charges with USB ports. I installed my own like I showed you in a few videos back there last year maybe. And I installed a plug back here because there was no plug back here. So I installed a plug with a USB charging ports back there. So thank God I can do mostly everything. This winter I'm going to turn this bedroom into a king size bed. I'm going to take those cabinets right out and I measure my bed. It'll come to about here and wall to wall boys so that will be all one big bed damn near and it's gonna be decent so i'm gonna take these cabinets out build a shelf across here maybe and uh i won't bang the old freaking arm bones the old arm bones. but other than that other than the hundred thousand things i just mentioned i'm gonna have to go back and count this to see what i'm gonna call it top 10 or so top five or maybe more hey okay? top something or others clean the inside of the trailer out today that's all done looks mint i just gotta do the outside clean the old vanaruski i gotta clean the golf cart because i took it with me this time we had a great time we did and nice and quiet relaxing and we had some fun why wouldn't we freaking right other than that this is just a short little video to give you an update on what's really going on and uh i'm gonna carry on i'm off this week so i might be able to slap together a few more videos for you this week have a little time on my hands. Looks like it's gonna rain today, boys. I think it might rain. What do you think? Shit hawks are coming, boys. Okay. We're gonna get pissed on, we are. I wanna try to finish that wood split maybe this week. That should be an interesting job. Frank! I wanna go for a Dipperuski again. But anyways, hopefully you like this video and uh, gives gives the new buyers a little update of Ruski on the old, buying the old trail of Ruskies. Have a good day. Don't do anything I didn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.